the different direction that the inserts are. There's a left, a right, and then there's uh, the different degree angle that you can use here. And the cool thing is, is that there's basically eight cutting tips um, because you can turn this insert over and use the bottom side of the insert. Now you can see where this guy is nice and shiny. These are AXA tool holders and this this unit here, it's a 16 by 16, I think that's millimeter to be honest with you, uh, is too large for the AXA tool holder so I need to cut about a hundred thousandths off of it to fit the tool holder. Um, you can see they're quite quite dirty. I've been using them. The, the, I didn't even clean it, I just brought them on from the lathe. Uh, the inserts working real well, they cut well. Uh, I've been real happy with them and I've been, been working them hard, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, especially this, uh, this tool here. Um, we'll go over to the mill and I'll show you how I knock the uh, top of this guy off. Typically a tool holder that uh, uses a carbide insert has a, another piece. Uh, forget the actual terminology of this guy, but that's what the the actual insert ends up sitting on. And I wanted to show you this. On the bottom, there's an Allen head screw right here. This is the stem for this guy right there. But I think you might be able to see it. Is that this is. Uh, it's not concentric, it's, uh, so it locks the tool in. So when you put the insert onto the post, you actually take a wrench and turn, turn to lock the insert back into the receiver, and then you can put the top notch holder down on top of it. Pretty nice setup. Thought I'd show you the tool I'm using to cut down the uh, insert uh, or the tooling. Uh, it's a two two flute carbide, and uh, I thought I'd show you the. Uh, I'm going to change out the change out the insert. You can see there the inserts uh, nose of it's pretty well beat, and the other one, the other side is pretty well hammered itself. Um, so I'm not going to uh, on camera watch it blow up. So we'll we'll change out that insert so we get a, a good cut. I got a feeling it would uh, cut it without a problem. But uh, on camera, I bet you a problem would occur. So we're not going to go there. Well, it's a change of plans. Uh, after looking at those inserts, I didn't have any replacements. And those were hammered enough. Um, so we're going to go to uh, this uh, cutter here. It's got, uh, it's got four, four, four flutes on it. So... Give it a little, little oil on it, and fire these three phase up, and we'll give it a go.
Okay, from there we'll take it over to the uh, deburr wheel, clean it up, and then we'll bring it back. So there's the uh, tool, back from being deburred and uh, ready to, to be uh, fitted in a AXA tool holder. Well, they're all finished up. There's a nice addition to my tool rack. Glad to uh, glad to have them, and they uh, they do work very well. I recommend them.